Hey, good morning. Jay Nicholas with Chris Daughters, fresh back from New Zealand. We're going to we're going to have fun today. We always have fun. But you are going to enjoy watching me struggle, I think, with tying a little bitty fly. This is not a big old salmon fly. This is going to be a a trout fly uh, using uh, Whitlock's SLF body synthetic li living fiber, and uh, it's it's actually tied on a Daiichi. Where's my wire? I, here it is. I am um, I'm using a ten. A lot of times, uh, you folks may fish this on a 12 or a 14 or a 16 but trust me right now um, having just come off of too many years tying size twos I got my hands full with this uh, with this short shank size 10. It's a re really nice wet fly hook um, the tail was... the tail is dyed orange. It's kind of a hot orange or a fluorescent orange uh, golden pheasant tippet. And I'm using a Vivas 12 aught and this has really been kind of interesting for me because I've been using you know 210 denier and my really fine threads have been 6 aughts and I decided what the heck I'm gonna try some something really skinny and it's this stuff is amazing. Um, very fine, very strong. I like it a lot. So um, I'm sure this body color has a name. Salbug Tan. But don't obsess over that because what we're what I chose this I just reached in there and chose this because it's a it's a buggy insecty fishy color uh, I think know. around here you know when you've got March Browns and PMDs and the other mayflies hatching in the spring that tan or hair zeri like color is solid yeah you, you've got you've got hints hints of uh, this is lemon wood duck fiber uh, you you have hints of um, Hints of brown, tan, gray, a uh, little bit of green in there. Now I could put this wing right on the front of the fly. I'm gonna, um, for the heck of it, I'm gonna put it right back here, and I'm gonna have this wing be just a little bit shorter than the tail. And if it seems like I'm moving slowly here, it is because I am. Deliberate, I like to say. Del yes, thank you, Chris. That's deliberate. And you will see me doing something that I... If, if you've watched my videos before, I often said, you know, I don't like super glue. It sticks to my fingers and everything else. Well, you know, I, I reserve the right to change my mind. Um... I've watched Bruce Berry. This is just a little brown hackle. You could use a hen hackle. This is a saddle hackle, but I'm, it's a very short one, and I'm just going to use the webby portion at the base, and I'm just I'm going to tie it in by the tip and just get a few turns. But that I watched Bruce Berry tying, and that whole trick of putting super glue. A little, just a little brush of super glue on your thread is really a neat trick. That Dave Whitlock started doing that. Is that right? A long, long time ago. I mean, he, I don't think he even used a whip finish. He just used Zappa yeah. Gap on the thread. And yeah. It was part of his loop connection, connection time. And well, well, Greg, Greg Senyo effective. does the same thing. Mm -hmm. Um, and so it's it's kind of it's kind of fun after tying flies for many many years many many decades to pick up some 
new tricks. So, so tying with this 12 odd, I can't imagine that I ever used a 6 odd. Of course, I, I forgot all my tools at home this morning, so I had to grab some things off the rack, and I may not have my bobbin set quite adjusted properly. Whoops, grabbed a hackle there. So, I can't help it, I'm going to just put two turn whip finish on there. Plus the zapper gap, you're set. And I'm set. And uh, I watched some guys just, they just rip on that thing and the thread breaks and it's perfect. I haven't been able to bring myself to do that. So there's this beautiful little wet fly and that'll catch trout in the valley, on the coast, in central Oregon, in all over the world. Guess what? It'll catch steelhead too.